What does it take to become Magic Mike? Well, we are finding out on a new reality show that takes 10 ordinary guys through an intense boot camp with sexy and daring dance routines, all to be crowned the next Magic Mike. Take a look. So we're going to find out who these guys are. We've got to test them. We've got to put pressure on them, challenge them. And this week's challenge is all about confidence. How you perform in there is going to mean something. Because this is going to have an effect on what you're going to be doing in the final performance. It's a competition. So, you know, they're, they're states. We can't really see what their confidence level's like until we throw them to the wolves. And host and magical mentor Adam Rodriguez <laughs> joins us now. Did you like that? <laughs> love like, it, love it. I want to set up Finding Magic Mike because I'm going to tell you this is going to be everybody's guilty pleasure, but this is also like nothing what anybody is thinking when they hear, oh, like Magic Mike reality oh. show. This, this is people are going to be very surprised. When you're doing something that you know is more than what it seems, you know, you, there's always this special feeling. It doesn't happen that often, or it hasn't happened that often in my career, but. Um, when it does, you just, I, you, there's this feeling of excitement I can't describe. It's, it's this reality competition, but in the first episode, there's like a lawyer, substitute teacher. I mean, there's people from Shoe all walks. salesman, a bartender, yeah. So like, so explain it. So these are guys who are like, they're, you guys are helping them find their magic. Yeah, these, these are a bunch of guys that either at one point in their life felt like they had something special going on uh, or have never felt that in their lives and were hoping that this experience might help them find it. And um, they courageously show up to put themselves out there for the world. So then also, so it's, listen, it's, it's not just you, which would, which would be good enough, but then you guys are bringing in some guest hosts as well. We had guest stars come in with fresh eyes and experience and, you know, and a perspective that was really valuable to us. And they would, they were really helpful in, in helping us make these decisions. I mean, we had people like Whitney Cummings and Nicole Scherzinger and uh, Nikki Glaser, Robin Thede, Amanda Seals. When did Magic Mike come out? Magic Mike came out uh, 2012. It is insane to think where this movie has taken things. Like, oh, man. like the impact of this movie. That feeling I was talking to you about earlier, you know, in terms of knowing when something special is happening... We, we all had that feeling um, probably halfway through shooting the movie. We all just knew, like, this little movie, because it was a low-budget movie um, when we did the first one, and there was something happening that we knew was special. Let's say your friend's getting married, your cousin or this or that. Sometimes you wind up at a mail review. And <laughs> what, I will say, what I will say is, like, pre-Magic pre Mike, like, scratch. Post Magic Mike, all of a sudden you're sitting here and you're like, they're, they're taking your numbers, like oh, they're taking sure. your numbers from like. So I need to know, do you guys ever talk about that? Before we did the first movie, we did go to watch uh, a mail review and see what was being done. I would imagine that what we did in the movie, I mean, it definitely, in my opinion, was a lot better than what we went to see. And so anybody that was in that world, of course, now we just. We reset the bar. They've got to, you know, they know the audience is showing up expecting to see magic, something like Magic Mike and not whatever was being done before. So I, I think we realize we all help reset that bar. And that's that's a huge credit to the choreography team. Okay, are you in for the third movie? Is everybody coming back? Do you guys know that yet? We know that the, the original cast is not coming into the third movie. It's going to be a new crop of guys. No, no. Chan will be back. Chan will be back to lead the way, and uh, he's going to take the guys to um, to some new places uh, across, you know, across lands. And um, we may or may not pop in for a little cameo. We'll see. Why would you say everybody should watch it? You know, I, I would say... There's so much out there on television, and there's 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 so much great stuff to watch. Um, but there's nothing like this show. There's nothing like it. All right, Adam, let's tell everybody that you can stream Finding Magic Mike on HBO Max now. Thank you so much. No, for sure, Joel was great. I really enjoyed talking to you.